Under extraordinarily tight security, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Sunday visited the Pennsylvania ammunition factory that is producing one of the most critically needed munitions for his country's fight to fend off Russian ground forces. His visit to the Scranton Army ammunition plant kicked off a busy week in the United States to shore up support for Ukraine in the war. He will speak at the UN General Assembly annual gathering in New York on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then travel to Washington for talks on Thursday with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. As Zelensky's large motorcade made its way to the ammunition plant on Sunday afternoon, a small contingent of supporters waving Ukrainian flags assembled nearby to show their appreciation for his visit. The area around the ammunition plant had been sealed off since the morning, with municipal garbage trucks positioned across several roadblocks and a very heavy presence of city, regional, and state police, including troopers on horseback. The Scranton plan is one of the few facilities in the country to manufacture 155 millimeter artillery shells. Zelensky was expected meet and thank workers who have increased production of the rounds over the past year. The 155 millimeter shells are used in howitzer systems, which are towed large guns with long barrels that can fire at various angles. Howitzers can strike targets up to 15 miles to 20 miles away and are highly valued by ground forces to take out enemy targets from a protected distance. This is so important, uh, absolutely important. Uh, it's, it's just very heartwarming and uh, that he is here because I think he personally wants to thank the workers for, because they basically are the ones that are uh, helping Ukraine with the ammunition. This plant has been here for as long as I've been here. A lot of my friends, their parents worked here. Um, it's unfortunate that we need a plant like this, but um, it's here and it's here to protect uh, the world. And uh, I strongly feel that that way. Residents of the village of Koronevo in the Kursk region complained to Putin as well as the heads of the Russian Defense Ministry, the Prosecutor General, the head of the Investigative Committee and the Chief Military Prosecutor about the facts of mass looting committed by Russian military personnel during the so-called counter-terrorist operation after the entry of Ukrainian Armed Forces units into the region. A corresponding collective appeal from Koronevo residents appeared on social networks. People write that there was not a single day of Ukrainian army presence in Koronevo, but after the arrival of Russian military in the village, dozens of residential buildings, shops, gas stations and pharmacies were looted. They say there are numerous accounts of men in Russian military uniforms breaking down doors of evacuated homes, taking away belongings and valuables and shooting dogs to stop them from interfering with the looting. Russian soldiers also steal cars and agricultural equipment that their owners did not manage to take away. It is no secret that stolen property is taken away through fields and open roads, the statement says. There is no official response from the Russian authorities to the cry from the heart of the indignant Kursk residents who believe in the fair Putin.
Recall, while Ukrainians have been fighting in the Kursk region to push the war onto enemy territory in one of the villages outside their control, where there is a Wild Berries online shop warehouse, Russians are engaging in regularly. A recording surfaced online showing three Russian soldiers entering the warehouse and freely opening the deposited parcels. According to Russian Telegram channels, three Russian soldiers entered the warehouse and began opening and taking parcels that had been sent to local residents. Another recording is circulating online showing Russian soldiers, likely from Akhmat, looting a mobile phone shop in Grushkovo in the Kursk region. The shared recordings are being commented on by internet users. Very telling, notes one and adds, the activity of Kadyrov's men in the Kursk region, looting shops. Will they receive a Tesla Cybertruck?